Okay guys, in this video I'm gonna be making a position box, something that is very useful for uh, healing drills, front drills, change of position drills. So we just bought some lumber and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make it. Uh, two pieces of two by six. I didn't wanna make them two by four. Two by four is kinda of small. I want the size to be nice and pronounced. So two by six works just fine for the sides in the front. I'm gonna tell you you're supposed to use this to be honest with you, just between you and I, I don't usually use this. I should, but you should. This is gonna be the base. They didn't want it to be something flimsy. So nice plywood is gonna do the job. And then let's get to work. Now I am pretty much customizing this. Uh, the rust is the largest dog we have. So I'm gonna put them on a down and I'm gonna measure roughly the length of that position box. That's roughly about 41 inches. I'm gonna make adjustments for the, uh, the front part of the position box as well. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna measure 16 by 41. That's 13 inches for the width of the body, plus three inches to allow for the, for the two by sixes, plus the length of the body, which is roughly what I'm gonna have, 41 inches. So 16 by 41, allowing a little bit of space for the front. Just make sure, measure twice, cut once, a straight edge, because my yardstick's not long enough. But again, it's just a position box, so I'm not too, too concerned about it. If you have some experience using these tools, you're probably all right. If you don't have a whole lot of experience using power tools, be careful, stay away from them because they can be very, very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Keep your fingers away from it. Uh, you want to be as careful as you possibly can. Again, I'm not suggesting you make your own position box. I'm just giving you an option. If you want to, you can. You do not have to. Again, I repeat, do not use power tools if you're not comfortable with that. Just have somebody else make it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the sides. And by the way, the side at the front right here um, is what I trimmed off the sides. So I just got the two sides. Instead of buying a third piece, I figured you might as well use the ends of these. I'm just gonna put them together right here. Fit perfectly fine. I did have to trim a little bit so that it would fit. That's gonna be the front. Super, super simple. I'm only doing this because I've done woodwork before. I feel comfortable doing it. Um, it's perfectly uh, normal for me. I've done it so much. Um, but if I, if I was not familiar with woodwork, I just no, I wouldn't do it. It'd just be a waste of time for me. Um, if you can pay somebody else to do it, pay somebody else to do it. But if you got the extra lumber and you got the tools, you might as well use it. That's why I'm suggesting to just be careful. If, if you're not familiar with this, don't do it. All right, so what I'm gonna use here is rather than trying to screw it onto the, onto the plywood by holding it, I have these clamps. These are very nice and uh, they come in handy. I've had them, so I'm gonna use them. If I didn't have them, yes, I'll probably have to hold it, but you know, I don't have a problem using them because I, I do have them. They do come in handy. If I had wood glue, which I don't, I checked, I'm out of wood glue. But if I had wood glue, I would totally glue that in too. It's been uh, some time since my woodworking years. So I only have the basics. The bases are gonna be good enough. So now that's in place, that allows me to Move that around and screw it from, uh, from the other side. I can screw it from the back. So a few wood screws will do the job. So what I'm gonna be using to screw this in is gonna be two inch wood screws. 
Um, the way you want to gauge that is of my wood screws, they have to be long enough to go through this base right here and enough to go into a large portion of this as well. There are way better channels dedicated to woodworking in general. So I'm just giving you the, the, the bare minimum here, just a crash course. So the, so the wood doesn't split is I'm gonna pre-drill it. The reason you wanna pre-drill it is if you just screw it right directly into the wood, what could happen is it could uh, split the wood and then if the wood starts to split, it compromises the integrity of your project. So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a line sort of in the middle of that um, two by six so that I don't, I don't put the screw too close to the edge and then it comes out too, too close to the edge of that um, four by six. So putting it in the middle, I'm really hitting the, the screw right in the middle of that two by six. Now, as I put these in, that should not split the two by six on the other side. There it is. Take the wood clamps off. Now it's pretty, pretty sturdy. I'm gonna pre-drill a couple to go this way and then from the bottom. Using two inch screws. bought a cheap mat that way it's nice and comfortable Okay, girl. Good girl. 